Hi, my name's uh, Gabriel Guerrero. I've been attending The Way now for six years. Prior to coming to God, I was, I was using steroids, um, using drugs, and using alcohol all at the same time. I remember in uh, 2016, um, my brother had invited me to Arizona uh, to go work. However, I was still just battling with so much stuff. I was in a broken place, really bad place in my life. I had a, a big falling out with my brother and uh, I remember just driving back um, in the car on the way back and just was so upset, so angry with my life. I remember Pastor Marcos, he was telling the, the church that we had to meet God, like we had to show up, we had to meet God if we wanted God to move. And I said, God, if you're real, I need you to change my life. And um, I was like, but I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit three months out of my life, and I'm going to come. I'm going to stay focused. I stayed committed. I kept coming to church, started getting involved slowly. The more I started getting involved slowly, uh, like the better I start feeling, the depression started going away. Like the suicidal thoughts were gone. Um, the alcohol, the drugs were gone. I was able to join. Um, you know, my leaders, Power 12 Samuel, an amazing leader, really just took my faith um, to a whole different level. I was just in an amazing place with my life, and God had just like restored me so much. He restored like my vision, He restored my health, He restored my emotions, and there I was like just, like just praising God so much, thanking Him so much. Last month, um, I ended up uh, going to uh, the emergency room because I felt so sick. I felt like woozy all the time. I felt like my body was shutting down. I had a lump growing in my body and um, I found out that it was uh, cancer. I remember the lady just sitting me down and just telling me like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to go through this. And I knew like, no God, like, no, you're not gonna let me down. You're not gonna let me down. And prior to going to the hospital, I was already Googling like, what's what is stage four mean, people that are dying. And I felt all these symptoms, but I didn't want to receive that. And I knew that I had to fight with God, so I didn't receive it. I stopped doing that and start praising God. A week later, I had the surgery and removed it. I'm fine, I'm healed, I feel amazing, like God is great. So if there's anything that I want you to, to know, stay committed and really just trust God. Continue to show up, continue to trust God, continue to say, you know what, no matter what the circumstances look like, no matter what I'm dealing with, I'm gonna continue to stay plugged in because God will never fail you. Hey guys, my name is Sam, and this is my beautiful wife, Alexis. Hi, wow, what a powerful testimony that we just witnessed come through Gabriel's life. Sam, I remember when you received the phone call and you were able to call me and share mm -hmm. with me what Gabriel was going through. And I remember yeah. that our first response was prayer. I totally remember every single detail. And what's awesome is how we responded, like you said, with prayer, but then also with community. Mm -hmm. And God wants to use the community that you're in in order to bring restoration to you. And so what's really awesome about this story with Gabriel is how God walked him from the moment that he was on drugs, he was hurting, he was in trouble, all the way to the point where he was trusting God and now he's transformed and living a life on fire for God. And it's so great to just see that. Now there's a scripture that really goes well with this testimony. Could you share it? Yes, it's in Isaiah 40, 29. It says, he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. What a beautiful promise we have from God. Yeah, definitely. And honestly, that promise is relevant in all of our lives. Really, we all need strength from God, especially at our weakest moments. And what a beautiful thing to see what God has done in Gabriel's life and can do in many others' lives as well this year. Now we're going to give everyone the opportunity to partner with us to see lives transformed through giving. Alexis, what's the first way that we can give? So the first way to give is by going on the Wayworld Outreach app. Right, and the second way to give is to go to any browser, either on your phone or desktop, to the way.gives with an S, and you can give right there. And the third way, what's the third way we can give? The third way to give is in person. You can drop off your envelope at one of our kiosks right now, or you can come at the front office Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 p.m. Yes, and now it's time to worship. So let's worship and let's give together. <laughs> 